Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video I'm gonna be breaking down how I did these effects of this swirly chocolate candy. So yeah, let's dive into it. So here's the final result. I'm gonna, as you can see, is a very small network. So we're starting with the quad sphere, then I'm clipping it and filling the polygons. Then I'm creating two masks along with the group expand. So here's the first mask and I'm blurring it. This mask is going to be used on a mountain as a blender attribute. Then I have a second mask, mask two, that I'm also blurring and is being used as a displacement in a point bob. So just a displace along normal. Then in the mountain, I'm creating this simple mountain and is being blended by that initial mask. So this mask in here, this one. So that's about it for the geometry operations. Now we're going to start with the VDBs. So I'm creating a VDB from polygons. And I'm doing a volume deform. And when you create a volume deform, it will automatically create this lattice from volume. And in here, after the lattice from volume that creates all of these points, I'm creating a wrangle to get the topmost point. So as you can see, I have it in here, if this wants to collaborate. So right in here, as you can see, this point. And then I'm doing two soft transforms to create the swirly effect. As you can see, this one is already creating it. So if I disable this one and look at this. So this takes a few seconds to cook. So as you can see, I'm doing this soft transform by grabbing the top point that I selected, in, that I grouped in here. And then I'm rotating it from that group center and playing with the soft radius and then I have another one and as you can see this one is a bit more intense just playing with the radius and the rotation along the Y and you get this sort of result which is really nice and now I want to incorporate a tip in here let's call it a tip so what I'm doing is creating a line, then transforming the line to, to a line with the, the topmost point that I've saved in here, resampling it to have more subdivisions, then doing a rig wrangle, as you can see, to deform the into uh, some sort of spiral then doing a second one to bend it a bit more i could use the bend deformer but it was not giving me it wasn't giving giving me the the correct result i had some interpolation issues when i combined two or more so that's why i opted for the rig wrangle then i'm deleting some attributes and sweeping the shape as you can see we will lose some detail but it's there anyways so i'm filling it and placing it along the shape as you can see this is a bit of manual work so i can uh, color it red then I'm transferring a mask to the initial geometry. Let's just visualize the mask, as you can see. 
then creating a VDB from polygons and passing the mask that I'm going to use as a mask in the VDB smooth and I'm also creating a VDB from this shape and resampling the, the original shape to the same amount of the second VDB which is a bit higher and then I'm doing a VDB combine as you can see but the, the interpolation is not the best as you can see we have these arch transitions so what we can do is do a VDB smooth from that mask that we saved and we get these sort of results which is not perfect but it will do then I'm doing a convert VDB and saving it out from here I can convert it to a quad mesh or a, a, a better quad mesh and then subdividing it and ray projecting to get the initial details as you can see so from here that that looks a bit jagged all the edges a bit uncontrolled and then with a ray and a subdivision we get a more smooth surface as you can see with this color hopefully you can see it even with the compression doing a slight blur on the position soften the normals and it's ready to be sent to render then in here i'm creating the outer shell there's nothing too complicated i just want to mention in here that i have a mask for for the displacements that i'm going to use in shading and doing a uv project as polar which is also important let me just disable this mask and as you can see we have a polar projection of this shape that will allow us to have this stretched look around uh, this, this shape in here I will show you in shading in just a little bit so this is our geometry let's move into the shading part so as you can see by this rendering you can see the, the stretching that we get in here which is on purpose to have this this look and the way i'm doing that is by using the the uvs uh, that were created using a polar projection as i told you and then in here i am using a extile texture a karma extile texture so in the UV mode, not triplanar, and I'm loading the texture coordinates and playing with the, the amount of repetitions of the of the UVs along the U. And from here I can mix it with the mask and remap it. And this texture is just a random displacement that I found on mega scans remapping it and i can show you how it looks let's have a look so as you can see in here the displacement of the the inner chocolate so i can show you node by node with these unlit and removing the displacements let's see if I change this to one and one as you can see it will repeat uh, with the same amount but if I change this let's say to six as you can see it will stretch and it will do the pattern the circular pattern or the polar pattern because I did the UVs uh, that way 
so let's set it to the default so just loading the texture and mixing with the with the mask in here as you can see this is the mask this is the texture and then just mixing it we end up with something like this so let's load the final material the rest is just a bit of subsurface scattering and some chocolate color there's nothing to complicate it you can have a look at the file on patreon i'm gonna be uploading to there and if you have any questions you can also ask me there so yeah that's about it guys i hope you have learned something new as always if you have any questions you can ask me over on patreon or send me an email and let me know your thoughts in the comments below Thank you and see you next time.